time. Listening, 
for me until now. Till the last part of this whole time. And this one is done about so many parties. It's a kind of new time to the parties. So in the next time also, keep that this done about a new time also. So we guys can say, the long year, there was a team called the So, because we have so many Jalakas, all the things they must say is like the Karmata Karmata. Who is the first one? The team they need this title, Karmata Karmata. So, this Karmata is uh, ruling. And there was a household that is very wealthy and rich. As you do, that's just that's just very rich. And we know that this household has much, so much of wealth, very rich. So he, as I understand, president in this country, this country, uh, in the city. So now he is a king. he is a treasurer of king of this and the rest of the country. Uh, he was a gentle servant also a treasurer of me. So he did not buy the treasurer. I have lost up when and he is a good servant. He knows how to get this done, how to cut it and start around. He is very expert in being done as a good servant. And he, he had lots of other also. He comparison with his great combination. He's very, very rich and he's good circle. Very pious one, jealous one. So he went to the king and said, Poki, I have lots of uh, wealth. Please change from me if you want. And then he said, Oh, treasure, I have so much of wealth. You do yourself what you like with your friend. So, the voice of God is treasure. He is the next part of the big drama. So, as a channel maker, he can make that very useful to some powers. So, the words that are so beating, I will keep down all my wealth uh, to the needy people. So in this way, he makes he makes he made, uh, six dana of the different direction. Who can come to this dana star? They can they have provide with the food. So many things are they do. So it is when the result of that is his full land of life, he fully earned the wealth and also the uh, dharma. So the result of the body of the death, he bore the satyra, the injury. Because his body is not a he knows how to become satyra. So that's why in this way he practiced the Dharapara uh, and he tells us to the Madhava Sutta and the Madhava in present, you know, in this Buddha's present, are in the Sattva. Or he became Sattva. Like he had to practice the Dharapara Fares until he died. He had to practice the true truth and so many things to be the Sakara Baza. So he practiced in this way. Well, Sakara Baza, I think about him, sir. Kingdom. Heavenly Kingdom. And before die, he told his son to continue the practice of Dana. So his son also practiced. Uh, as his father did, his practice of dana. And he also died. And after that, he also reborn in the Tavadingsa Devalaka as his son. 
like uh, his name is uh, Chandima, Chandra, like moon, moon. <laughs> so before he die, this uh, Bodhisattva's son and three generations also, they practice the same way. After his son, three generations more, they practice the dana, dana parami, the practice exercise of dana. And they also born in the heavenly, in the same realm, Tavating Saloka, like Chandima, Surya, Matali, and uh, some Parantas, his name is, I forgot. <laughs> Okay, <clears throat> so they all, these five, like Bodhisattva, his son, and after that, next three generations, all the five born in the Tavating Saloka, heavenly world. And the sixth one, the Kosia, he, he thought, all my, all my uh, grandparents, they practice the dham, they practice the dana and the west lots of wealth because they given to the people practice in the name of practice so he thought i will accumulate all this dana and i will i will have with me only i i don't want to share anything and i will keep with me so in this way he earned a lot dana but sorry a lot of wealth but he never see it. and heaps of heaps many heaps of dana he collect but in the same way he earned the dana but he never use also that's great great pity for him so people used to call him as a, a macharya kosia who is the stingy millionaire Stink millionaire, miser millionaire. So this uh, Bodhisattva Sakka Indra is seeing the heavenly world. This his great, great, great grandson is is leading his life in such a way that up, if he die with this, he will surely born in the hell. They, they were like pity to him. So, uh, so that's why they want to help him to make in correct path, to bring in righteous path. So before this, this Kosia is a very miser fellow. Uh, one day he saw that his, uh, one of his, uh, his employee is eating rice, uh, like rice uh, payasa, for its sweet, sweet for its payasa. And he saw that this Kosia also saw him and he want to share with him. But the Kosia didn't accept because he accept, if he accept, he have to uh, help him in so many ways eating. So that's why he didn't accept the payasa. But he is very eager to eat, very well. Um, he want to eat, he, he feel it will very tasty. And so that's why, but anyhow he reject. And this one day gone, two day gone, two days gone, his uh, desire became more and more to eating this uh, payasa. But the thing is, if he eat the payasa, if he prepare in house, he have to share his family, his, his wife. So that's why he never told even his wife also. So because of this great, uh, this desire, he's looking very foul, foul and thin, and he is not interested in anything. And his wife asks what to, what happened to you, my Swami? 
like this. And he tell that I have, I want to eat payasa. I have lots of desire, so much of desire to eat payasa. <clears throat> so his wife said, okay, okay, if you wish to eat the payasa, no problem, we will make lots of payasa so that we may can eat whole family and we can share even others. He said, no, no, you don't uh, make such a big amount. I would like to only eat myself, even I want to give to you. So, he's, so he said like this, so finally his wife also accept, listen that. So that thing is, if you prepare the payasa in this house, they have to share with at least the family. So they went to the jungle so that nobody is there. So they prepared there the payasa. So this, the previous, his generation, like his parents, grandparents were born in the heavenly world. They want to bring him in the right path. So they came to the jungle where they preparing a payasa. So having seen the Bodhisattva past came to, they came as a, a form in a Brahma, sorry, Brahmin. The all five, they come as a form as Br Brahmin. And the Bodhisattva went past and asked for uh, the payasa. But the Kosia don't want to share, he don't want to give. And he gives some Dhamma, like about Dana, the benefits of Dana, and his mind changed a little. So he given uh, very less. And other all force also came to him to ask the payasa. But he don't want to give, he actually want to drive away, but they didn't. So he, the Kosia said, okay, bring a small, small leaves, I will share with you. So when they bring the leaves, the leaves uh, transform into like big leaves into like a soldier cell size. So the, the Kosi are given to them, but they also increase the uh, payasa for its sweet rice. So in this way, they add and also remain because of maybe their uh, supernormal power they use, the Indra and his uh, devas. <clears throat> so this Kosia, anyhow he share with them, but his previous uh, father, he, now he is in Deva, like Suna Paranta, he is. So he is transformed into a dog and he urinated in this spot where he prepared a, a payasa. Having seen, uh, he is very angry and with his angry mind, he pick up the stick and want to beat the dog. But the dog transformed again into a big horse. So he is frightened and he ran away. And also all the devas also now transform in their form at deva form. So seeing them, he's afraid and he ran away. And the Bodhisattva tell him the Indra. Indra told him, stop, stop, don't worry. No need to fear to us. We, we were your only relatives in the previous life. And they narrated the, their previous life births. And they, he understand that, oh, they are the my uh, current friends, great, great grand friends, they are. So he, he has stopped and the Indra King, he give the suitable Dhamma discourse about the Dana, Dhamma. Once you practice Dana, we all practice the Dana and because of this Punya, we are reborn as a Deva in heavenly realm in Tavatingsa. 
So he understood he's very miser and everybody also call him as miser kosia, millionaire miser kosia. So he also want to transform himself and practice same way as his relatives, his parents, his grandparents who practice the dana. So in this way, he also practice the dana parami. He make, he built a dana sala and used to give to needy people foods, clothes, so many things, whenever they need. <clears throat> So maybe after his old age, he practiced a lot of dana, practiced all, lots of sila, and he want to become a sannyasi. In this way, he finally he also became sannyasi and ascetic, and he practiced a lot. He afford he make effort a lot, and he became uh, you may say he. He gave like jhana absorption. He can fly in the air. He can walk on the river. He can go under the earth. Such power, physical power he got because of jhana power, supernatural so power he practiced. So one day he visited in the Tawating Sar Devaloka where Indra was ruling and he had four daughters. And this uh, ascetic, like previous, when he was household as Kosia, he bring a parichataka flowers. Is parichataka flowers is like very big one, and it is uh, it is said it is can see from maybe far from his color from. 50 kilo, 50 leagues, 50 yozana. And it is fragrance, can spread like uh, 100 yozanas, such flower, parichat, parichataka flowers he bring. And hence, this uh, Indra's daughter saw this flower, he won, he won, he won this flower actually. He, he have, he want to have flowers, but the flowers only one. So the Bodhisattva said, no, no, you cannot take unless the uh, ascetics choose one of you. Uh, so the Bodhisattva uh, told the one of the devas like uh, Matali to bring Ambrosia. Ambrosia is kind of like, heavenly medicine here in human world, we, if you use like medicine. And for them, it is like one of the, what well, Amrit something. And he brought uh, the Amrit and he drink and the uh, ascetics. And he share one of the uh, Deva, sorry, one of the, one of his daughter, maybe smallest one daughter, he share with the, with her, these uh, flowers. And because of old age, this ascetic, his human spans also finished in this human world, and he died. And after died, he reborn in the same Tawating Sadeva world and which is choose the daughter, he given the flowers, and he was the chief wife of the, this uh, ascetic's wife. Now he is, he is in Deva Hall, in Tawatinsa. So in this way, uh, they practice dana, and because of this practice of dana, they born in the heavenly world and they are, they live a long, long life, not like human life, like, like we human lives like a 65, 70 or 80 years or little more. But the Deva walls, they live a like very long, long life comparison to human world. So they enjoy. And this uh, Indra also very pious one, very silavanta and very wisdom one. 
And sometimes uh, Indra is known as having 1,000 eyes. But it doesn't mean he have physical eyes. It is a uh, wisdom eyes. He can, uh, he can solve the one problem in thousand ways. So that's why he is having with thousand eyes. He has such ability and he has so much of wisdom. So the Buddha said, uh, uh, this uh, Kosia and his sons, they now in this Buddha Sasana, in this Gautama Buddha Sasana was, uh, like Mahamogalana, Mahamogalana Bante, and Mahakasapa Bante, Anand Bante, and Anuruddha Bante. They are the four one. Sorry, they are the four. Now in this Buddha Gautama Sasana. And who is the Kosia? He later became a uh, ascetics. And after that, he also revolved in the world. He was uh, our Sarputta Bante and who marriage with the Upalavana now in this present life. They are in the previous life. So in this way, the Buddha said, he also practiced a lot of dana and he made carrots and set into the right path to the kosia as rice trees and fires one with this dana. So all the bantes were in the hall, they very appreciate and very satisfied with the teachings of the Buddha and they transform according to their temperaments of their parami, whatever they fulfill, how much according to their perfection of parami. So here we in this uh, in this Zataka, we can learn we should practice uh, dana parami, like the uh, bodhisattva and the others also practice. But they are very rich. We are, we are not rich, so how we can practice? The Buddha said, even we are not rich, we can also practice dana, whatever we have. Like uh, you can offer water, Whatever you prefer food, you can share with the bantes in the pata and who need it. In this way, we also can practice dana. <clears throat> there are so many dana we, dana, we can practice. And basically the dana are three level, three kinds of da, uh, dana, as Bante explained early, earlier. Like dana parami, Upa parami and paramata parami. Dana parami means uh, material things like food, clothes, medicines, shelters, like this. And upa parami means like we can donate like our uh, organs, like kidney, blood, and so many things we can donate also. And Paramatta Parami means uh, Bodhisattvas generally, the Bodhisattvas are practiced if needed. They, are, they can uh, give even their lives also when needed. In such a way, they practice. So you may have the Jataka story of like, uh, there was a king, he had four sons. Sorry, three son. So one of them, the last one, Mahasatta, he was a Bodhisattva. And once they went to the jungle and they saw a tigress. Actually, this tigress was given birth, seven, seven cubs. And he was very very tired and he cannot move and feel hungry. To surviving herself, he actually coming to his cups to eat. But the Bodhisattva and his brothers saw that the tigress are going to eat 
her child. So having seen, he is very moved. How can one, how can, how can one mother can eat the own child? So it will create papa. It create, it will action, it will be create action. It is, if, if she eats a her child. So what he did, uh, he went there and he thinks this is very weak and he cannot move also. So he did, he what did? He bring a bamboo and he cut and he pieces into his body. And he uh, given as dana to the tigeress to save the her cups. So here, uh, the Bodhisattva given his own life. If we given like, like a Bodhisattva, it will be suicide. But for the Bodhisattva, it is not suicide because he have the he has capacity and ability, ichazati and ichamarana. Whenever he want to die, he can die, and wherever he want to born, he can born because of his powerful mind, powerful chitta. Because he, he is a bodhisattva, he get a blessing from the Buddha. So that's why for him it is can possible. So in this way he practiced the uh, dana, paramatta dana parami also. <clears throat> so uh, there are three kinds of also dana in three level we can practice. Uh, like uh, people used to give dana to practice dana parami and fulfilling dana parami according to their mind they practice how much they have sadda in the buddha dhamma sangha and practice of dana parami uh, one is dana dasa dana dasa means he give dana his own things like a just like one master give his servant in this way, he share his dana. But this is also dana. And second one is uh, dana saha, dana saya. He give dana as like friendly, as friendly way. Like you share with your friends, your, your friends with neither low, neither higher, in medium way you practice. And third one is you practice the dana pati. Dana pati is superior dana, the best one. Uh, you want to give the best of best thing, whatever you have. Uh, just like I remember, uh, suppose when we in dining hall, some we got some fruits like lychee. Suppose I got uh, six. Lichi and one Bante came late and I want to share with him because he didn't go. So I, I used to choose the best one, like I have six and I have to share three with him and I will choose the best one, that three. Like this way we can practice. And I also experienced with, when I was in Sri Lanka, and we pract we celebrate the Vishuddha Dhamma birthdays, and he want to give dana to the bantes and guests who uh, come to the Sri Lanka in his birthday. He want to give the best one, best of best one, the bante. But Vishuddha Dhamma didn't tell to us, but Yasuza Bante told me that he want to give the best one. So in this way, we can upgrade our dana also. Suppose if we be give away the dana, in Dana Dasa, then we can upgrade as Dana Sahaya. If we practice Dana Sahaya, then we can upgrade our Dana like as Dana Pati, the superior, the best giver. So many things we can give Dana, just like garland makers, he can make so many garlands which is, uh, uh, which is able work. So I hope you understood about the dana and with this i would like to conclude here and may we all grow on the path of dhamma 
and fulfill our dana parami and we attain the final liberation of nibbana sadhu sadhu sadhu